Here it comes, Charlie. 12,384. There it is. Oh, this is going to be good. Okay, Charlie, here we go. Don't get scared. Let's start in the ones column. We have seven, subtract four. So what is it, Charlie? Three. Three, very nice. And we'll go ahead and record our three up there. Now, how many tens do we have, Charlie? We, we don't, don't have any. any. And we're trying to subtract how many? Eight. Eight of those, right? Well, we're going to have to borrow. So we're going to go to our hundreds column. Now, Charlie, how many hundreds do we have? We don't have any. We don't have any. So that means we got to go to our next column, which is the one thousands column. Now, how many one thousands do we have, Charlie? We don't have any. We don't have any of those either. So we got to continue on. And finally, we're up here at the which column, Charlie? The ten, ten thousands. That's right. Now, how many of those ten thousands do we have? Two of we them. do have two of them. OK. So we're going to borrow one of these ten thousands. Now, remember, one of these ten thousands contains ten one thousands. So we're going to borrow now. OK, so notice on the abacus, our two comes to one. And notice in our one thousands column, we now have a what, Charlie? We have a ten. ten. OK, now let's show our work. We're going to cross out that two, make it a one. And now we carry the ten over, so now we have ten. We now have ten one thousands. But we got to keep going until we get to that tens column, right? OK, now we're working in the hundreds column. Now what we're going to do is borrow one of those one thousands. And remember, one thousand is ten one hundreds. OK, so here we go, Charlie. Notice, in our one thousands column, we have ten of those. When we borrow one, it becomes nine. And notice here, we now have ten of these one hundreds. Oh. Very nice. Now how do you show this in your work? Notice, in the one thousands column, you cross out the ten, it becomes a nine. And notice, carry the one over, you have ten of those one hundreds. OK, we've got one more to go. Now, we're trying to get to that tens column. So now we can borrow a hundred, because we now have ten of those hundreds, right? OK, now watch what happens here, Charlie. We have ten one hundreds. When we borrow one of those hundreds, it becomes a nine. And notice, how many tens do we have? Ten of them. We have ten of them. That makes sense, because we borrowed a hundred. And remember, a hundred is ten tens. So here we go. How do we show this in our work? We cross out the 10, it becomes a 9 over there, and now we have 10 of those 10s. OK, now we can do our subtraction. OK, Charlie, what's 10? Subtract 8. Two. That would be 2. Let's do it in the abacus. Well, I know 10 subtract 1 is 9, and I've got to subtract 7 more, so that takes me down to the 2. And that's right, we'll go ahead and record. It makes sense. And if you look in reverse, 2 plus 8 is 10. Very nice, Charlie. <laughs> now, we're in our hundreds column now, right? How many hundreds do we have? Nine. Nine and we're going to subtract three. So we come down, and that gives you how much, Charlie? Six. Six. So we'll go ahead and record that. All right, Charlie. Now we're in the one thousands column. We have nine of those. And we're going to subtract how many? Two. two. So that takes you to a seven Whew, in our one thousands column. All right, Charlie. We're in our last column. Bring us home, Charlie. Well, one, subtract one, one is zero. zero. Do we need to put that zero up there? No, we don't. No. And so there is our final answer, 7,623. Whew. That completes our <sighs> lecture on subtraction, which requires borrowing. Now, be sure you practice. Go to your facilitator, your teacher, or your parents, and ask them to give you some problems. Work them out by hand, and then get your calculator out and you can check your answer with your calculator. Now, don't rely too much on that calculator. You don't want to become one of those calculator kids. Anyway, we'll see you all again soon.